So we're given the equation, the absolute value of y is equal to the negative of the absolute value of x plus 1. So you might be thinking, since we have absolute value on both sides of the equation, then this problem will be hard. But first, let's break down what absolute value actually means. So the absolute value of y basically means this is a piecewise function. It is y if y is greater than or equal to 0, and negative y if y is less than 0. Similarly, with the absolute value of x, this equals x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and negative x if x is less than 0. This is all from the definition of absolute value. So, that means we have several cases here. The first case is if y is less than 0 and x is less than 0. That means negative y is equal to the negative of the negative x plus 1, right? Because both y and x are less than 0. That means we have negative y is equal to neg is equal to positive x plus 1, which means y is equal to negative x minus 1. Our next case is if y is less than 0, but x is greater than or equal to 0. That means we have negative y is equal to negative is equal to negative x plus 1. That means we have y is equal to x minus 1. The next case we have is y is greater than or equal to 0, but x is less than 0. That means we have y is equal to the negative of the negative of x plus 1, which means y is equal to x plus 1. Our fourth case is if y and x are both greater than or equal to 0. That means we have y is equal to negative x plus 1. So we see that we now have a coordinate plane, and we can label the quadrants. This is the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, this is the third quadrant, and this is the fourth quadrant. So which one of these conditions is in the first quadrant? It's this one, right? The one right here. This is our first quadrant, because y and x are both greater than or equal to 0. So that means we have negative x plus 1. So we have a graph like this. So very important, know that the graph does not extend past this point. Because, you see, based on our conditions here from the absolute value piecewise function, this only works if y is greater than or equal to 0 and x is greater than or equal to 0. So let's erase this. And now, let's find our second quadrant. So in the second quadrant, y is greater than or equal to 0, but x is less than 0. So this is our second quadrant. That means we have a function going like this, right? y is equal to x plus 1. Now let's find our third quadrant. So both y and x are less than 0. So this is our third quadrant. That means we have a function y is equal to negative x minus 1. So negative slope. And we have a y-intercept at negative 1. So something like this. And finally, our fourth quadrant. y is negative, but x is greater than or equal to 0. So we have x minus 1, positive slope, y-intercept negative 1, we have something like this.